guys, Dr. Andy here. Um, today, I want to talk about something called a movement snack, okay? So I know that that kind of doesn't make any sense right off the surface of, thing, uh, surface of things, does it? But I kind of want to dive deep into this for you because I talk with a lot of my patients and obviously a huge portion of them are desk workers, right? So a lot of you out there were sitting for eight hours at a desk um, horrible posture, bent over the keyboard, looking at the screen all awkwardly, right? Well, the human body, it is designed to sit. It's designed to stand, um, and it's designed to kneel, right? But what it's not designed to do is it's not designed to stay in one position for a very long time. So when we get a lot of our patients that are coming with like upper back pain and neck pain and shoulder pain, headaches, a lot of it is due to this like work ergonomic issue where we are doing this repetitive stress injury by sitting in one position for too long, right? And so you might think to yourself like, all right, well then a great solution for that is to go to the gym, right? Well, believe it or not, what they found is that if you work all day at a computer and you go to the gym and you work out for one hour a day, it is not as effective at preventing those type of work ergonomic issues as what we call a movement snack. Okay, a movement snack is exactly what it sounds like. It's a snack, meaning a little bit of something frequently throughout the day. So if you're a desk worker, you're sitting at the desk for eight hours a day, this is, this is probably gonna be a little bit easier for you if you work from home. Um, if you're doing a, move, a movement snack in the office and you're sharing a bunch of space, there's, there's probably a good chance that maybe some of your coworkers will look at you a little bit weird. But let me explain, okay? A movement snack is that when every 45 minutes or so, half an hour, 45 minutes, max an hour, you have an alarm on your phone or on your Apple Watch, and the idea is for you to get up and move every half an hour, 45, an hour, okay? So you gotta get up and you gotta move. Um, I usually tell my patients to, if you can, if you've got enough space, um, you know, what we're looking for is like two to three minutes, okay? Two to three minutes of intense, you know, quick, get your heart rate up type of activity. Whether that's jog in place for 30 seconds, um, followed by some other exercises, or uh, another great example is, is jumping jacks. So if you could do, you know, something cardio, meaning run in place or jumping jacks for 30, 45 seconds, followed by 15 push-ups, 20 air squats, um, hold a plank for you know one more minute. Uh, that is going to get your heart rate up. It's going to get blood flowing to the muscles of your body, and it's really going to do a great job to help prevent a lot of these work ergonomic type issues that we've been seeing in a lot of our patients. Right, um, most of the time we are getting hurt because there's a loss of blood flow to your upper back and your neck when there's just regionally a loss of blood flow due to a loss of movement, all right? So if we can get in there and we can get some blood pumping because our heart rate goes up from exercise, it goes a long way to preventing those kind of issues, okay? So that's what a movement snack is. I've been kind of trying to teach all of my patients about it here recently, especially everyone who works at a computer, just to make sure that every half an hour, 45 minutes, set an alarm on your phone or on your watch, and just to get up and move for, you know, pretty intensely for about two to three minutes, right? So make sure you get that heart rate up, all right? If you have any questions about how you can do this, maybe if, maybe you want to ask me, well, how, you know, I work in a big office space with lots of coworkers, how can I do it? And then just reach out. We'll try and come up with a plan together. Um, and if you have any questions, send them my way. And always remember to live with passion, not pain.